Hi, this is Marcia Kish, and today I'm excited to bring to you Blended Learning, the new normal for education. This is a five-part series. In each one of these series, we're going to talk about what blended learning looks like and what it might look like with the new normal. Let's get started. I think that we're going to have face-to-face. I don't think technology is going to replace, replace a teacher. I think we're going to definitely have smaller class sizes, but the teacher will definitely be there on site to work with the students. When they go back to this new normal of education, I can see the teacher working in a small group. I can see students doing independent practice, and I definitely think that there's going to be digital content and hands-on learning. It might just be at a smaller scale. I definitely think there's going to be face-to-face -face interaction with teachers because we need them more than anything to help catch these students up and that's how students learn is through teachers. All right, the next thing that I think is going to happen is I think there's going to be a big component of online learning. I think students are going to learn from home. I think that part of the day might be from home as well as they're going to be learning online while they're at school. I look at online learning as not replacing the teacher but as the second teacher in the classroom. The teacher's doing a mini lesson and the other students are going to be online learning the same content in just a different format. So I definitely think the new normal for schools is going to have some online content, either where the kids are completing it at home or while they're in the classroom. I also think that there's going to be A-B days. What does that mean? Well, I think the new normal for education using blended learning is going to look like this. This is just an example where a student might have a schedule where they attend school in a brick and mortar building on Mondays and Wednesdays. They're going to go to the, the campus and they're going to have math, science, ELA, and of course, maybe some social studies. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, they're going to be continuing their education, but they're going to be doing it from home. On Friday, it might be a C day where we're adding in all those electives such as PE, art, we're going to maybe add in foreign language, we're going to add in maybe choir. Those electives those students want might be one day a week, but they're still learning and using it throughout the week, but they're going to hold those classes on that C day. This is just an example. This is what I think might happen if we go back to school and still have to do some social distancing. This could be a sample schedule. And then finally, I think there's going to be a lot of flexible learning, meaning that maybe the kids will see the teacher one day a week, but they're going to be learning online the rest of the day. So take a look at the schedule that I created. On Monday, there might be a math class, and then there will be a math class in the classroom with that teacher, but they're going to be doing online ELA and science somewhere in the building, or they might leave, go home, and continue learning from home for the rest part of the day. On Tuesday, they're going to come in, meet with the ELA teacher for a block of time, and they're going to do it with science online and math online. And on Wednesday, they're going to do science with the teacher in the classroom, and then they're going to do ELA and math online. This is just a small sample of what that flexible learning might look like, where they meet with the teacher for a chunk of time, and then the rest might be online. The new normal. We're not for sure exactly what it's going to look like, but we know it's going to have some aspect of face-to-face. -face. It's going to be some aspect of online. There might be A, B schedules depending on the social distancing rules and what that might look like. And then they're also going to have some flexible learning where kids are going to be learning online and also side-by-side -side with the teacher. All right, that's part one. Those are the different types of blended learning and what it might look like in the new normal. Next, I'm going to show you some examples in part two of what blended learning looks like in a classroom setting. All right, I'll see you back here in just a minute.